Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell so you never miss another walk around video. Okay, we've got a plane going overhead, so it may be a little bit noisy here in Castleberry, Florida. I am a salesperson with Blue Compass RV of Orlando. We are off 436, off of exit 90, near the Ultimate Mall. Um, on State Road 436 in Castleberry and I would love to sell you your next RV so if you're in the market please do not hesitate to contact me uh, down below in the description and I'll have my information at the end of this video as well. You feel free out of state, in state to come on down and visit us. Everybody loves to see uh, Mickey Mouse and then stop by and pick up their new RV. Now today we are covering, we are back at the store the Tampa show is over. It was super awesome, super successful. And we are back to showing you other product lines that are not just Jayco motorized. As I was getting ready for the show, because I was gonna be in the Jayco motorized display, I was showing you uh, in particular the Jayco motorized units that would be there. So behind me is an absolutely gorgeous unit that I've been meaning to record the past couple months. I was waiting for my colleague to come out here, Alex, so he could record me um, actually on camera for you. But I don't know, he got busy, maybe he's selling something. He probably is, he's a better salesperson than me. Shout out to you, Alex. But this is the 2024 all new Alliance Delta Travel Trailer 294 RKS. Now folks, a lot of times when they put those stickers down below, they put 294 and usually I'm like, tack on a foot or two, that's about how long it is tip to tip. This one's a little deceitful. This baby, tip to tip is actually 33 feet and 11 inches she is a big old mama i'll drop down below also the dry weight on her um because looks are deceiving right make sure that when you go to these rv dealerships that you're asking these kind of questions right i understand that the sticker says this but i am very familiar with the fact that most of the time the sticker is inaccurate i've had customers come in here and tell me that they saw a beautiful rear bunk model unit that was only 29 feet and i was like nope had to be 35 if it had a separate bedroom in the front and in the back and they were like no 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 it was 29 the, the salesperson said 29 and we actually pulled it up together on my phone and it was in fact 35 36 feet and they were like definitely can't do that too big but imagine if they had gone and bought that product and that salesperson did not know um and maybe they truly did not know i'm sure they were not trying to be deceitful but definitely do your research and keep these things in mind okay i want to point out because somebody at the tampa show said hey gabby make sure that you start talking about this the uh, total vehicle weight, weight of the cargo, right? Your payload capacity, how much stuff you can put in this baby is 1736 pounds, 1700 pounds, okay? I mean, that's like stacking bricks or I feel like even a smart car on the roof. You're definitely not gonna load her up that heavy. But um, just so you know, that is the payload capacity of this travel trailer. And without further ado, I'm gonna turn it around and stop showing me. Let's check her out. Okay, starting up front on the Delta, you've got this lovely looking fiberglass cap and you have a nice rock guard up here with the 20 pound pro paint tanks, your um, electric power tongue jack, right? And then what looks like an integrated A-frame here. So that's super, super nice. For more information on that, go to my Feature and Benefit Friday videos. Down the side of the Delta, this one has a slide out on the camping side, but let me tell you folks, it is not that big and not that bad. It doesn't really uh, take up a lot of your awning space and it looks awesome inside the unit as a result of that slide out. So I know some people say, I don't wanna slide on my camping side, Gabby, but you know what? This one, you might wanna settle with it once you look at the inside space. Okay, coming on down the road, I wanna do this um, in order. You have a 320 watt solar panel on board, your 320 watts of solar on board with a 40 amp charge controller, okay? Nice and labeled everything. What are these folks? Oh my goodness. Do we have awning buttons that I can actually look at the awning as it comes out? I'm not standing in the unit. How cool is that? So you've got one, two switches here and these are for your awnings, which are on the side of the unit. 
my battery's probably dying because the second one's not working, but that is really awesome that they've added this feature. So instead of being inside shouting at the person outside, I have the buttons right here and wait till you get around, wait till we get around the other side. I have something even more exciting to show you on the other side, but you have some 110 outlets right here. And then you have a six foot table. Now they bracket this table on top here because Alliance knows that when you get to your campsite, you don't wanna go digging through this storage bay and unpacking everything to be able to set up your table and eat dinner, okay? You get to your campsite, you open up and you just wanna get to it, all right? So the table is on top purposefully so you don't have to dig through everything to get to that table. Now, override for your slide out is right here. That's that little hole. You do have standard leveling jacks, right? You're gonna to wanna to get a drill there. Go, go check out. <laughs> <laughs> Go check out one of my recent Jack videos. That was a lot of fun there. Uh, a lot of um, elbow grease. Okay, Lippert solid step above step. Nice big step here. It is adjustable. And then you've got a nice big safety grab handle. Let's not forget that they use Asdell on board. Again, for more information on Asdell product in the sidewall, please go visit my Feature and Benefit Friday videos because I want to keep this video as short as possible. Okay, this is giving me Rapunzel princess vibes because it almost looks like the double door windows that the princesses would open, you know. Oh! So if you open this up, and I try to keep it as easy as possible, you actually have your outdoor entertainment center. Now this, this TV is kind of in... Um, in an inset and what's interesting is there is a sort of bracket to pull it out but it doesn't really go that far out so it's always going to kind of stay covered inside the slide out but neat little feature here that it's kind of built in to the outside and when we go inside you'll see that this is also your entertainment slide in the sense that when you walk in your tv and your fireplace are on this slide out system goodyear tire standard those are really nice looking with those aluminum rims and then we keep on going. <clears throat> Awnings go all the way down the side of this coach, okay? And they come out about eight feet. So yes, you lose about two feet of the awning on this one because of the slide out, but you have another one up front. You have got a griddle grill combo here. Now this is gonna be difficult for me to open with one hand. So I'm going to pause a second. Oh, actually, no, it's not. Let me see. Yeah, I don't have the... Brute strength, the brute strength, guys. We did it, we did it. All right, so this is super neat. You have a griddle and grill combination unit. Love that by Greystone. And it's on kind of a, it's almost like a friction hinge, uh, gas strut, if you will. So really gotta ooh, give, it, give it all the power when you're pushing it in and out. And it has a little lock feature. All right, around the back, huge, huge, ladder i've shared this before about the delta travel trailer really awesome you can get up there no problem get on your roof check your seals whatever you got to do up there but also this is so that you can dry oversized towels all right think about your ladder on the back a lot of other brands do this skinny little ladder i don't even have any ladders on my jaco's right now i just have ladders on my deltas and they're all extra wide so nothing to compare it to but i can tell you we'll verify that that is double wide almost double as wide as all the other uh, travel trailers that have ladders on my lot, all right? And it comes with it. You have a hot and cold spray port, super cool. You could do hot or cold water. Controls are gonna be up front. And then you have a hitch here if you wanna add something on the back. Be careful that you do not exceed 300 pounds on that payload, okay? I'm serious, guys. Don't don't go a penny over 300. It will mess up the towing. It will mess up the tongue. Uh, there is a reason it's rated at 300 pounds, okay? Your tongue rating is based on that being loaded with up to 300 pounds, okay? So heed the warning. Don't don't do it, guys. This particular unit is 50 amp service. I believe I do have two ACs on this. When we get inside, we will verify. And then your uh, dumps are down here back by your rear jack pretty pretty easy on the rest of the camper right we move in around this side we have got oh what's that it's a tankless water heater check it out if it's a circle it's tankless if it's a square it's a gas electric so tankless water heater or on demand however you want to say Furion hot water heater um and then you've got your furnace here on the right next to it it looks like i have another dump here so what is that one back there? Do, 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 do. I will have to comment down below and tell you what the deal is with that. But 
We have our Stinky Slinky storage hose already installed there to be able to store your black tank hose. On the other side, this is what I wanted to point out, folks. Not only do you have your battery disconnect, you also have the little device that, that they already provide for your drill to be able to uh, drop those jacks down easily. You have the panel, uh, easy access panel to uh, your solar charge controller and then your uh, some of your battery connections and things like that. Your water, water shut off is right there. Look, check this out. You've got black tank flush, right? We love that. What's this? It's a slide out switch. That's right. I can bring my slide out in or out, okay, while I'm standing here on the hookup side. And that is the biggest, biggest deal, okay? Everybody knows about shouting at each other because you can't see where the slide out is and the other person's pushing the button, right? You're on the phone. Now they've got the Bluetooth app so you could take your phone out here and do it with certain brands. But Alliance, uh, Alliance is tried and true in the sense that they like buttons better than electronics because the iPads, you know, people uh, said there's sometimes there's a failure rate on those things. So this is your classic old school slide out button right here on the slide out side, which is amazing. And there is the hot and cold spray port controls I was talking about. There's another little nozzle area here. Finally, this would be where your um, tire pressure, this is prepped for the tire pressure control system so if you want to add it that's where it would go and then you've got a water pump switch on the exterior here and that's the exterior of this 294 let's head on in because i know you want to check out the inside all right giving you a little quick walk through before i go through everything rks is yes rear kitchen love that u-shaped kitchen with the bar stools it looks fantastic you've got a ton of storage this was that slide out I was talking about folks right on the camping side, which actually houses a lot of awesome features. And because you have that slide out, it really opens up your living space here. And so this is gonna be a recliner sofa there. And then you're gonna have a pull out trifold sofa in the corner right there. One AC here, check out how massive this um, entertainment center, this audio attainment center is with Bluetooth. So you can hook up your music. You know, you like Kenny Chesney you like Justin Bieber, whatever, <laughs> you like Brandon Lake, like myself, whatever floats your boat. Closet here, pantry closet, looking good, guys. I know everybody's always looking for storage. So pantry closet there. And then Furion fridge, freezer. This is not the crazy fridge that would, uh, the door opens and closes on either side. Now, quick, let's talk about pricing here, okay, guys? The thing is, I don't like to talk about pricing on my channel because I want to give you a chance to actually check out the floor plan. I'm not trying to hide the pricing, okay? You can go on Blue Compass's website and find the price. We can talk. Of course, I'm going to get you a little bit better than whatever the list is. I always want to get you the best deal out there. But I also don't want to talk about pricing because it, it really puts a hamper on uh, our relationship, right? If you jump straight to price, I mean, that's all you want to know from me. And then you don't really care about the rest of the unit. So I, I don't like taking a lot of time to talk about pricing. And people comment all the time and they're super rude and aggressive about uh, somebody recently said like, I'm it, it's I don't know what wording he used, but it was very aggressive, basically saying that I was like untrustworthy because I didn't talk about the pricing. And I commented back that that's completely inaccurate. I, you know, give me a call if you're really in the market. I'm just a salesperson. You know, I'm just trying to help you out and show you some floor plans and talk to you about how these units are built. And if you really want to buy, give me a call. Porcelain foot flunch toilet, right? Good, uh, what is it? Prime pooping position. Shout out to you, Matt. All right, let's go back. And we'll walk through this unit now that I've given you a little spiel on my pricing stuff and <laughs> you're probably already tuned out of this video but sitting right here in the living room you've got lots of open floor plan here you've got the entertainment center with the smart tv you have a little bit of storage up above your fireplace which will actually put out some heat check that out i wish they put a shelf in the middle there but up to you how you want to fill that space countertops are uh one are seamless okay they are not a solid, you know, solid wood, or I'm sorry, they are like a wood covered plastic kind of material, but really, really nice and sharp looking, very modern. You have a lot of windows. I did close some of the black sh blackout shades so you could see how these worked, but fantastic roller shades. Only black, oh, oh, that was aggressive. Only blackout shades in here, okay? There's no day shades, but lots of natural light in here in the kitchen, and you have your microwave, little popcorn microwave here 
Okay, popcorn, potatoes, pizza. I don't know who's gonna fit a pizza in there. And then you have your Furion cooktop and your oven down below. Tons of storage. Check out how many drawers of storage I have under here. And I normally don't go through and open each and every one, but that's pretty deep, man. That is pretty deep. And then shelves, let's see, do we have? Yeah, we've got shelves. So halfway up, you do have two sets of storage shelves in here awesome nice deep love these farmhouse sinks stainless steel farmhouse sink if you notice uh the drain is to the right not directly in the middle that gives you more storage right below the sink okay and do, da, 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 da. oh yeah pull out garbage can disposal area yeah <laughs> so you have all that set up in the kitchen once again fridge is there and we move on let's go to the bathroom now we'll come back to it all of your controls by the way are up here when you first walk into the delta directly in front of you bathroom's really nice you've got a nice big uh i mean it's skinny but a um, medicine cabinet here it's pretty or linen closet here it's pretty deep like i could stick my whole arm in there guys and it's not even all the way back that's got to be like three or four feet deep and you have three four of these Okay, shower is nice. Little one piece, um, you know, plastic surround shower. And then you have a porcelain throne, as I said before. A couple of towel racks here. You've got a vent fan on top and a skylight. And then this medicine cabinet here. Oh, decently deep with a nice big stainless steel sink. This is a large sink and a little bit of counter space. You have the controls to your water heater right here. It is gas only. The tankless water heaters are gas only, by the way. That is one of the pros or cons to them. They don't run off electric. These are pretty big drawers in here, too. So those are nice. And then shelf underneath there as well. All right. Moving into, finally, the bedroom. I know we took a brief peek at it earlier. But you've got a nice big window in the hallway here. Again, another one in the bedroom. Nice big bed here. I'll put the dimensions down below. And then you have beautiful epoxy nightstands. There are going to be actual drawers here for you to pull out. Okay, they're pretty deep. You have a chargers, USB ports, and 110 outlets right here. And then you've actually got this like kind of shallow with like a velvet base storage on either side as well. These lights are going to change from blue to white to off so that's nice along with the white accent lights above and then uh take the shelf out make it a hanging closet up here Whoop. oh i don't like that guys i wish they had some struts there to keep these open all the way down there's no um divide between the two and finally other side let's check it out we're gonna get more into cabinets this year guys same thing you could make it a hanging closet or make it shelved unit okay second ac is in here i'm also prepped for a tv there if you want to add a bedroom tv and finally this nice little closet area this is huge honestly for the space you know um most people walk in a travel trailer and this is all you're getting for storage in the bedroom so i think it's a big deal that they're able to put two more deep drawers here and then this massive hanging closet that looks fantastic it's interesting because there's also a prep for something here. Looks like a wine guard system here. All right. And that about covers it on the 294 RKS, guys. Alliance does a great job with their units. They do an even better job with customer service after the sale. Absolutely love their products and their team. Uh, they are great to us and we love them. And they did a phenomenal job at the uh, Tampa show last week. They sold, they broke <clears throat> record sales. So if you are interested in Alliance, definitely go check out their Alliance RV group on Facebook. I'll link the information down below because you have the owners there. You have people, uh, the people who run the company there. Everybody is involved and everybody is talking back and forth. And it's a great place and a great resource to get more information about these products. That all being said, I thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you love my content. And until next time... Happy camping.